Good day guys, this is Lukayan Bulls TV here again and today we are going to talk about some of the best pocket breeders in America, okay? Um, this is not going to be in numerical order, I'm going to leave that to you guys. You put them in order in the comment section when you're letting me know what you think about the list as well, okay? So let's start off with Weight and Gold's Kennels, okay? We know these guys have great confirmation. Um, we know it's owned by Mr. Tony Gold. Um, I, I spoke to him and he said he produces more pockets than standards because I thought the dogs were standards because they are so big. But um, he said they were. Uh, he produces more pockets, so I thought he had to be on this list. We know what his dogs bring to the table. Um, and um, it was just a given. Weight and Gold's Kennels, all right? And next, a surprise to no one, okay? When you're talking about um, pocket beasts, um, I don't think there's any one more, more recognized than SBK Kennels. These guys have some freaks. Um, they are um, pockets. I know when they started off, I think years ago, they probably did more um, standards, like when you see dogs like Tosco, but now they are definitely going in the direction of the pockets. So we definitely had to include Mr. Carlos on this list, okay? Also being next, my guys in Virginia, good old faithful, Fully loaded projects, all right? Very underrated. Um, you guys need to check them out in our, the last video that we did. Um, when you talk about consistency um, over years, I've been watching them for years and their productions and there was no way I could make this list without fully loaded projects, okay? Um, okay, so next. This is no surprise to anyone, okay? Duval Bullies, yes! Mr. Tone Lokster and his family. What they are doing is special to me because the family is involved, his wife, his daughters, Christina over there, whooping grown adults butts, going over to the, U to the AKC, um, you know, uh, everyone knows what Waffle House and Everything that they have um, contributes to the community. Um, they are, in a way, a waffle movement. And um, a lot of people um, I'm finding out are always inboxing me about waffle and they appreciate um, those guys. So we definitely had to put them on the list. Duval bullies down there in Florida, okay? Um, next, also is one of the most recognized um, pocket kennels in America as well, else it wouldn't be on this list. Um, for a very long time, the bully market, okay? Robert Lee with Bistro, Bando, Badman, Bandit, um, you know, the whole crew, okay? These guys, um, the bus, Nationals winner, these guys have been, um, if you ask some people, some people will say that they are the best. You know, this is this is a list a list that is, in my opinion, objective, but it can also be subjective to you. You know, that's why I didn't choose to do this in numerical order. I think it would just be too difficult to do. But we know from the movement of Bistro to the package that is the bus, um, to him winning nationals, also to there now being um, Badman, who is continuing this legacy. What more can we say about the bully market? Okay. And last but not least, who some consider the best pocket candle in America. Um, I am going, I'm not even going to say it. Say it! Suarez Bulls Candles! These guys have stood the test of time, have sticked to their look um i mean 
as vintage as it gets when you talk about pocket American bullies, in my opinion. Okay, um, if I even had to pick a number one, it probably would be him, but that's not what I'm doing here. That's your job. I want you to write down in the comments how do you think this list should go. If there were any people or any kennels that you could think of that I may have missed or not even be aware of, um, you know, um, just feel free to share your thoughts here, okay? Um, now, obviously, this list I did were of kennels that I thought breed towards the American bully standard, okay? Um, so, some of y'all favorite kennels that produce bulldog features, I'm sorry they didn't make the list. And there are some other people that, um, you know, possibly could have made a list too, but I didn't have enough information on them. But um, that is our list for today. If you liked the video, feel free to comment, share, subscribe. Um, you know, everything you're doing for us helps the channel to grow. We appreciate you. If there is even a topic that you want us to talk about, feel free to include it in the comment section, okay? Um, we appreciate you guys. We will see you next week. Lucayan Bulls TV.